Hey everyone, today I have the Emerson CQC 14 Snubby up for review. Let's talk about this blade length. All right, so obviously it's called the Snubby because you have a shorter blade than you have a handle. So the whole idea behind this knife, let's put these back here a little bit. I have these out for comparison and things like that. These knives are all designed by the same person. His name is Ernest Emerson. He is the owner of Emerson Knives. These two knives are Emerson's. Um, but he is also a knife designer. So he's designed these two. Uh, this is for Kershaw and this is for Zero Tolerance. They're sister companies. Uh, but I love this guy's designs. This guy has really great designs. Very ergonomic, very tactical, very usable. Uh, and he has a good variety of them too. You see, you got some Tontos, you got some tactical like uh, like fighting knives, and then you also have like utility knives. This is a really good utility knife here for the price. We'll talk about this some other time. I just have it out here for comparison. You got a recurve blade here. This one's made in China, but really good design. All these are USA made. These two are made here in California. So let's talk about it. Uh, you got a blade length here. I think it's like two and a half inches or something like that. You could pull that information off the internet anywhere, pretty much. Uh, I know for for me, when I'm trying to buy a knife and I'm looking at reviews, I generally know all the information. I've already been looking at it on the websites. I've already been comparing prices and stuff like that. I just want to get somebody else's opinion on it that's, you know, held it in their hand and used it. There are some things that you just don't know until you actually have something physically in your hand, as opposed to just the pictures on the internet that might not be catching every angle. So... With that aside, let's talk about the the reason why this knife was designed is so that people that live in states that have stricter knife laws can carry a very capable full handle knife um, for work and for utility and things like that without without um, breaking the law. Uh, a lot of these states have restrictions on knives with blade lengths of over three inches which is most knives. This is not a huge knife. This is a large knife, I would say, for a folding knife, but it's not huge, and it's like three and a quarter inch blades. So in a lot of places, I remember even back then uh, in California, these were illegal to carry for a little while too before they did away with that, that three inch law thing. And then there's a lot of other technicalities too that you can talk about. For example, like, is it concealed if the pocket clip is exposed? Some like over here in California, that's not considered concealed carry. But then in some places they tell you if your shirt drops over your pants and then you can't see the pocket clip sticking out of your pocket, then it's concealed. So this knife was designed to try to, to try to just fit, um, a good usable knife into all of these these places where the jurisdiction doesn't allow you to have a full-size folding knife for utility and things of that nature so this is a hard use knife emerson does not focus much at all on on aesthetics and fit and finish and anything besides just the usability of the of the tool that they're providing you with here so a lot of people complain about this and they don't like them. If you're looking at this and you don't own any Emerson's, just, I am i wouldn't say consider this your warning. I would just say, just know this fact, you know, uh, sometimes you're paying high end, uh, you're paying uh, top dollar for something that's high end in fit and finish and quality and things like that, which will also give you really good usability like this knife. Sometimes you're paying money for um, a knife that's just uh, luxury, just the the aesthetics of it. And it's a knife that's too fancy for you to pull out and just rip open a box with, you know. And then sometimes you buy something that's just for usability. So this one is all the way on that end of the spectrum. This knife is made, and as I've used it, for a variety of like tasks that are, you know, I wouldn't say necessarily heavy duty, but tasks that you might not wanna just pull out a collector's item such as this thing and use it for. Uh, tasks like opening boxes or zip ties or, or prying things or scraping things, or you know, if you're gonna get it like real dirty or whatever, um, that's what this knife is for. So I'm gonna, give you guys a closer look here look at the fit and finish and you know this is gonna bother you as much as it bothers you if it bothers you a lot then you know maybe this isn't the the right brand for you if it doesn't bother you because you know that it's a tool uh then you know whatever look as you can see here it's not like perfectly lined up but it's little nuisances like this that people really get like messed up about sometimes 
and they'll complain a lot about it from what i've heard you know it's like the the purpose of this too is let's say my i it breaks something on it like a scale or something i don't know something happens to my liner maybe the d10 ball falls off i got no clue something happens to it they're i'm gonna send it in they're just gonna swap that part out and send it back to me they're gonna sit there and try to like re-sand this you know and try to make sure that everything lines up they're just gonna give me my tool back as fast as they can so that i can just get back to work and use it okay so keep that in mind when you're buying Emerson's, you're paying top dollar. It's not for fit and finish and aesthetics. You're paying top dollar for usability. This is a knife that I, I don't discriminate the task of when I'm you know, getting it out to use it. I could be prying open something that's covered in grease. I could be cutting open something that's got like a lot, of, it's gonna leave a lot of tape gunk behind on my blade. I don't really care, you know? I'm just gonna take it home and wipe it down with some alcohol, clean it off and you know, it's ready to go. This is not the smoothest knife I own either, so. We'll talk about that too in a second here. We'll get there. But anyways, I wanted to mention, I brought this knife out because this knife is pretty hefty. It's pretty heavy and the hand is heavy kind of in your pocket. That is preference. Some people like heavier knives, some people don't. Some people, they wanna throw their knife in their pocket and forget about it completely until they need it. Some people like to have a heavy knife that you know you kind of feel in your pocket. I know that I've said in the past, I've liked having a heavy knife in my pocket for the simple fact that if I've misplaced it or forgotten it or if it's not with me, I can tell. I can tell that my my right pocket just feels a lot lighter than it usually would. Um, so that saved me a couple times. I have another knife that uh, is is like a very slim bench made. It's, it's wonderful for carrying like conveniently and out of the way. I've left that in my pants so many times that I've, I can't tell you how many times I've had to go through the hamper to find it. Uh, before throwing it in the wash with the rest of the laundry. So keep that in mind. Heavy knife. However, I would have liked to see if you have such a heavy knife and such a small package, some of this, the weight saving that uh, strategies that they apply to this knife. So this knife obviously is not a karambit, so they're not gonna mill out this giant hole over here, which makes a big difference, but whatever. I feel like if they milled out the G10 here with the circles, not only would it look kind of cool, it would also decrease the weight of the G10 you could maybe possibly put also a opening hole here opening hole is going to give you less material on the blade as well and i don't think they're compromising that much um integrity of the structure of the blade design with this it seems like this is actually going to be this is going to hold up pretty well too um i don't think i'm going to stick anything this far in and pry it open but maybe this one will be slightly stronger than this one in that case i'm not sure but regardless heavy knife it's up to you do you like it do you not this pocket clip, clip here i took from this knife because it's nicer than the plain one that came with my emerson and i didn't want to spend 15 dollars on another one i had that knife already so i just swapped them it's the same exact design same as this zero tolerance one here and they all fit there this is my favorite one here because it's mini and is also from a kershaw um from the same series as those but it's um it looks better on this knife and this is a uh, grail knife for me that I looked for for a long time it took me a while to find it and I keep this one just with my collection knives I don't use this knife but I look at it from time to time and I think it's beautiful I love the whole aesthetic of it I love the little skull and the mini clip there the big clip extended past this hole so I kind of like that this one lands right here so moving on um you have top quality materials here 154 cm it takes a lot to really dull this metal down uh to sharpen it is kind of a pain because it's a hard metal but it's not impossible and you have this this uh secondary edge over here is there i think it's what they call the relief edge um where you just sharpen pretty much this side as much as you can and then you kind of just deburr it on this side over here uh you don't have to worry so much about serrations unless you know how to do that serrations generally stay sharper because they're just you know it's a different type of cutting that it's doing uh titanium frame lock not frame lock i'm sorry titanium liner lock over here this thing is tough as hell i've stabbed this down onto wood and just like you know at my workbench just stuck it there and left it there for when i needed to use it again just to test that it holds up very well it locks up really tight no sticky sticky lock on this one like you i've had that with this one but regardless the action on this one is not so smooth making the wave not open the knife 
as effectively as I would like it. You really got to like yank this thing out of your pocket for that wave to work. Otherwise, you get one of those like half open things like this where it comes out like that. And that's kind of sketchy. You don't want to be closing it on your finger like that. So keep that in mind. Um, this knife actually, I don't know if they're ever gonna like come out with like different variations of it but this knife i wouldn't mind not having the wave on this knife is fine to open like this or like this or slowly or whatever and the wave doesn't really work for me anyways but whoops but um yeah just keep that in mind uh the wave works better for me in my opinion when you have a longer heavier blade that once it starts moving it's just gonna the weight of the blade is gonna help it do the rest this one doesn't really have the weight necessary to swing it out as easily as that one over there because of the blade length. So just keep that in mind. And the G10 scales are a perfect grip. They're a little rough at first, but they kind of break in after a while. And then they, they have that happy medium where they're not ripping all your pants and you're also still not like losing grip on them. Um, I mean, lanyard hole, I don't really use. But if you use it, it's got that. It looks like right about the size of a of the 550 cord. It's nothing like, um, I don't know. Like I have some other knives. Like even this one has a bigger hole. I don't really use uh, lanyard as much though. But you have that option, so that's nice. And I like the ambidextrous opening uh, with the thumb disc here. I just really wish that Emerson would just kind of do the left and right carry pocket clip on all of them. It seems like they only do it on certain ones. Most other knife companies, they just give it to you like that so you can switch it. Not that I'm a lefty, it doesn't bother me as much, but I did want to carry this knife instead of in my pocket like this, in my front pocket, where I pull it out and it waves out of the back end, I wanted to carry it like this, kind of like how this karambit carries so that I could pull it out in reverse grip. Since it is a shorter blade and everything, I feel like it waves open a little bit easier that way. I don't have that problem at all with this one, regardless of the weight, because this one, for some reason, is just a lot smoother. But that's, you know that's besides the point so anyways guys you get a very high quality hard use folding knife obviously not a throwing knife not a fixed blade don't get crazy with it you don't need a baton with it but for anything that you would use a folding knife for this is going to be able to complete a lot of those tasks i have not had anything that i i needed to get another knife for because this one couldn't complete the task this was done everything that i put it through um and it's not the prettiest but that's not the point, guys. The point with this one is that you're not afraid to use it. Like those very, very fancy zero tolerances that you have or, or other, other high-end knives that, you know, or maybe they're discontinued or something and maybe they have a blade coating and they don't make them anymore and you don't want to be scratching off the blade coating. I don't know. For whatever reason, um, if you're not into that, just keep that in mind. This knife is not so much about the aesthetics as it is for function, but for function, it's got everything that you could possibly want in it. Thank you guys for watching this review. Um, I would appreciate a like or a subscription if you want to see more. Uh, follow me on Instagram, Theseus Metalworks, where I post pictures of random knives, things that I'm carrying, other gear and items and that sort. And leave me a comment. Talk to me about knives. Shoot me a, a comment on Instagram too or whatever. Just talk about knives. Tell me what you like, what you don't like. If you have this knife, if you wanted this knife, if you hated it. I don't really care, guys. Talk to me about knives. That's what I like, okay? Um, so with this, uh, I'm signing off. I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. And I'll catch you guys next time.